Welcome back, and we are on part nine now of our wonderful exploration of the Xenoblade universe. As you may recall last time, we'd just gotten to Erethsea, we'd reached Alchemoth, and then we had been promptly arrested, because Shulk might not be pure of heart. But we all know he is. So let's rock on. Now I'm my only only party member now and I believe I have to talk to everybody and then something will happen. So start with Dunban. We have never had contact with the high-end tier before. Perhaps they are being cautious just as we would. Shulk! You have no, you no have to worry. Bird people not bad. The only ones who came to meet Melia were wearing those what? The one, bleh, the ones who came to meet Melia were wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. You sure we can really trust her, right? You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Oh, he looks familiar. Hmm? Do we remember? Alvis! Alvis! What are you doing what are you here? Doing here? <coughs> I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia here okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Sorry, I'm just Please trying to work people. out what time I, I should stop the video. Responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. <laughs> they are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Farewell. I'm going. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. I, I don't care for the right time. Just, just tell me now. Just, just tell me now. Zelda's my what? Zelda's my what? <laughs> the life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Yes, this room is so stuffy. What okay. with all the glass and vast expanse of open space Could that's almost bigger than a village. Ricky, wait. Your eminence. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? <laughs> he didn't say. What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Sure, can Ricky go help? Ricky and friends help people in trouble! Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day! 
<laughs> it is, it is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Stop shuffling around my party game. fast travel yet? Oh god, it's not going to make me walk. Oh, there's a shop. We like shops. Except I've got no money. Vests, warrior play, couple of tops. I don't think from now on I'm going to need many. I've rebuilt colony 6 to level 1, so that is all I really need to do. I didn't do anything else with colony 6 in my first playthrough and it was fine. It's more like a big extra side mission. <coughs> I will keep the things which it says are important though. probably why I've been finding it easier to play. I've just been buying all the really expensive equipment. I'm such a cheater. Just keeps on going. <laughs> there we go. Now I can buy things. <laughs> Iron cutlass for Dunban, yes please. Uh, sky cap also for Dunban. Gravity Stone Band. Yep. Sky Shoes. So I'd like to do this one at a time. <laughs> so I keep track of which characters I'm doing. <laughs> Yari's a pirate now! I kept the top, didn't I? Gave him those gravity stone band arms. Some different boots. Uh, 
Anything I can equip for the sky shoes? I've only got two gems, haven't I? I've got a sleep resist and a bleed defense. Uh, agility up. I'm going to take that off Ryan. Because <laughs> I'm not using Ryan right now. Okay. Oh, I had a weapon as well, didn't I? Oh, get it, get it together, Doug. Man. Nice. Okay, let's uh, have a go at Shulk now. Oh, ocean earrings. Okay. Might be losing my goggles. Sky top. Gravestone band. Yep. Two oh seven, two twenty seven. I don't lose them up. Sky bottoms. Mythical boots. Sure. Time for an all new outfit. I seem to have lost one gem. That's okay. That's okay. Are you that and finally, Charla. No guns. Yeah, get us some sky gloves. a lot on Charlotte that makes a huge amount of difference. <laughs> okay, I'll just check. Finally check the um the books that they're selling. Oh, these are all melee attacks. No good to me. Oh, you see. Game makers can never get this right. They can never make people... or can't very easily make people travel at the same speed as travelators. Look at this, I'm travelling slightly slower than the Travelator. <laughs> okay, I think I'm... I am questing, aren't I? I think. Hopefully when I get outside it'll point me in the right direction. Ah, yes. Where am I trying to get to? Here. I think I need to get to Hovering Reef 2.
game's so pretty. Experience to upgrade some people's attacks again. I don't want to fight that. I'm not strong enough to be able to beat it down really quickly. It'll probably just explode in my face. Hovering Reef 4. Uh, I sense something potentially dangerous. <laughs> in this area because one Roy enemy push and I could be knocked off the entire area down into the sea <laughs> and don't think it can't happen in this game you can fall and it will take forever to get back up unless you just use fast travel thank god for fast travel eh But he went to get some crystals and never came back. You can get the crystal deposits from behind the lighthouse. Do you think you can go and take a look for me? Uh, yeah, right after this monster attacks me. Immune to topple. Okay. Little blast. Dunban, do your thing. Ah. Born in a world of strife. Against the odds. We choose to fight. Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. You cannot escape. Leave it to me. Ha. Ezra. Not bad. We're Cosmic killer combo. Ah, just like old times. I don't know what you are, monster, but you're going down. Cool. Let's keep this up. 
Okay. Behind the lighthouse, you say. Oh, he took the transporter behind the lighthouse. I'm with you. Okay, down there. I assume where that big exclamation mark is. <laughs> so I'm just getting experience just for bumbling around. I don't know, yeah, yeah, let's just keep exploring at night. And I found a pretty good tactic between Shulk and Dunban. It's like just have Shulk and Dunban on opposing sides of the character and just have the enemy just freak out turning around all the time going, what do I do? And then you just have Charlotte in the background just firing heel bullet at me all the time. <laughs> Dunban learned an art. <sighs> What's Dunban learned? Heat haze? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, electric gut buster. Oh, I've got 3,000. Oh, okay. Uh, put on worldly slash. 2100. Nothing I can do with that. Oh, except another gale slash. Let's have some more heal bullets. Oh, I'm not enough. Oh, <laughs> shot myself in the foot with that one. Gets more power on a thunder bullet. Oh, and Shulk, of course. Don't forget Shulk. Might as well. I don't think I can get any improvements for these. I think these just upgrade on their own at certain points in the game. Do I have enough to just power up one thing? Mm, battle soul. Okay. All set with slightly stronger attacks. A dilemma rock. Oh my god, what do I do? could fall off this. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> On the plus side, it's a good way to escape from battles that you think you're going to fail. Just quick, run off the edge! <laughs> we can't survive these monsters, but we can survive a, like a... like, kilometre-long drop. Whoa! 
Why does Ryan keep saying things when he's not in the party? You can never escape the awesomeness of Ryan. We need a shower, but we mustn't be careless. Be sure to have grippy pads on the floor so you don't slip. <laughs> that looks ominously difficult. I think before when I tried to do this I managed to knock some characters off. is going to prove rather difficult, I think. Everyone, let's go! I don't want anyone dying out there. Don't hold back! I'm with that You can definitely do this! I feel my power returning to me. Yeah, Dunbar, go for it! Take this! Worldly! supposed to do this fight? Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on. It's looking better. It was obviously a bad strategy before just hanging out on the bridge because they wouldn't follow me. that heel bullet earlier, Sharla. Lots of saint rods. Not that I can use those, because it's a melee weapon! <laughs> Gotta pick up some shorts. Shell leggings. Oh, whatever. Might as well upgrade. Ryan a little bit. <laughs> you got the iron boots. <laughs> I saved this guy. Thanks, I thought I was a goner there. Things could have turned out really nasty if you hadn't come. I'm off to fix the transporter now. See you around! And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to Melia? And the young man, Shulk. 
Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. Oh yes, I think yeah, I've got to. She's going to go into the tomb, and I'm going to have to go rescue her, aren't I? And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility. Her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. Uh, the first consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. Mm. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, Your Majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. <laughs> I can read your thoughts, you know. <coughs> I can't prove that. I don't know if he does or not. <laughs> I don't think he can. He just knows a lot of things. Oh. Looks like we got them out of a scrape. <laughs> Dunban's a pirate. <laughs> Shulk, Ricky tired. <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Yay! Now, do I head there by foot? Or do I head there by fast travel? Pretty electric crystals. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna jump. Yeah. Poof. Now I could swim all the way over to the teleporter over there. But as you can see, that would take forever. And I am trying not to do things in this game which would you know, make the game last a million times longer than it would, because if I were to explore everything in this game, it would last a million times longer. I know I said when I started it would take 60 to 70 hours, but that was judging by my first run, and I did a lot of really, you know, things that I didn't need to do. See, look, I was swimming for like a minute, and I only got that far. Anyway, there we go, there's the central gate. And again, no loading times. I mean, the load times are ridiculous. I mean, if you look over there, I think, is that where I start? Somewhere on the beach over there? Over there? And I can just go, whoosh, I'm here. Didn't load at all. Whoosh. And I'm back. I hope you're, you're listening, Square Enix. Square Enix, you should probably watch this. Because that is how you do it. 
No a lot of times. No, none. Loads of anti maconis weapons and stuff. This area is pretty big as well. I think there are a few landmarks in this area. Never really explored it the first time through. Not until I came back and was doing some weird training for other stuff. I think there are some landmarks. But, uh, oh yeah, Fountain of Eternity. Yeah. We don't need to see this. Let's just get it on. Oh, I can't jump sides. See, look, I could run down the middle if I wanted. <laughs> Can I just... The arrow is nice, but it sort of doesn't give you super clear direction. I thought there was a hand-in-hand -hand thing here. Oh, there it is. I can't see that. <laughs> I can't watch any heart-to-hearts. None of my characters love me enough. Oh, is there a red glowy thing down there? Teleporter. Red glowy thing might be important for something. A silver ring. Yeah, there's probably somebody here who's like, I've lost my silver ring. I don't know what I will do. Ah, that's where I was going. Please accept my humble gratitude for rescuing the repair workers. You must be tired. Please fulfill your will to rest. Okay. Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? <laughs> it looks like some kind of ceremony. Excuse me. It's got random floating things, just because. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antichrist. Yo, so that's the High Emperor. Years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua. It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. <laughs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? 
My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. I expected more cheers and undulation. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Hom shall be no more. <laughs> the savage who discovers fire remains a savage. <laughs> Disappointed or not, his Highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hong Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Oh. Do your duty. She's a bit of a purist elitist. She wants to get rid of the mudbloods. That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from, from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melly not like other bird people. Melly like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Hmm. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that! <laughs> We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Uh oh. Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. Oh dear. Ah. Worldly slash. Get up. Uh, head. Spin it. Hey. Minato, let us your power. Don't lose focus on the battle. What, what the? What the f- oh my god. This isn't going well. Thank ah! You, Do your flash. I'm not doing too well. Electric Let's device. focus on our efforts. Roger! Uh, right heel! Oh my god, they are going to knock me into the floor. Ah! We need your strength. Yeah, I'm not quitting yet. with that man. Just what I needed. The time is now. Flash. All right, I'm feeling it. Electric at last. We move at the same pace. Yeah, John. Backslash. Why can't I hurt them? Oh God.
miss, miss, miss. We can definitely do this. I have to protect everyone. I won't miss next time. Shala, it's okay. Thanks. We can definitely do this. Minato, I know your power. Steel strike. Hey. Backslash. Two. Dunbar, don't overdo it. Nicely done. Broke their chain attack. We can definitely do this. Maybe I need to purge them. Okay, that doesn't work at all. Oh come on, I was just about to pick him up. Wake up! Yeah, last one. Jeez, man. It's already toppled. It. She. Gotcha. Whew, that was a bit touch and go for a second there when I lost Melia, but then they decided to stop attacking me. That's good. Who are these guys? Shulk. Shulk. These are inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, your highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. <laughs> the fun? They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Oh, Yet not so lucky. Us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people.
Wait, could that have been? No, there's no way. Callium, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed as an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. We have to find her. Behold my stock idle animation. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the rich you will alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. Oh, she looks so evil! Proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, your highness. Watch your back, your highness. She could at least attempt to try and sound a little less evil. It's just blatantly obvious. There's a big conspiracy between her and the first the first council person to just kill Melia. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy ride. But Dumban, this ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem. Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. Da -da -da. I am the protector of this Mechon bashing band of horns. Dunban, I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. To the tomb! Alvis is my guest. Whoosh. <laughs> uh. Oh, there is one going that way. Oh, I think it's on the lower level, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. I enter your tomb. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions 
help to protect the Empire. But you're Hans. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions that appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger before Her Highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. <laughs> Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself. For you are the one who wields the Monado. Mm, exposition. And the Bionis comes back to life and everybody falls off. The ancestral altar lies deep in the fields. What trials have awake me, I wonder? I, I must not lose focus. to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. Ingley. Cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited... Well, oh. What does this do? Don't touch... Oh, Ryan. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ryan. Yeah, collect me. Actually, might have some more. Ether up three. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to use Melia at some point. The 
If I've got to use Melia at some point, I'd better upgrade her. Yeah, this, this bit could use being quicker. <coughs> she was like, level up, go, done. Upgrade everything. Oh, I probably can. Can I do anything with her equipment? Staff. <laughs> oh, yeah, can't remove her headdress. Put some gems in her. Hey, where are the rest of my gems? Sleep resistance. Oh. Summon bolt. Star searing flames of absolution. My limit. What the fuck? I'm gonna be killed. What's going on? I'm bound. I can't do anything. I'm gonna be killed. What a great start. Absolutely no idea how to fight with Melia.
The recharge time appears to be abysmal. This thing keeps bloody preventing me from healing or anything. Witness my true power. Oh, what did that do? Summon bolt. Summon uh. Do I need to be right in its face? Lame. Ow. Witness my truth. The next one will hit. Oppose me and your destruction is inevitable. Oppose me and Jesus. your destruction is inevitable. Tasty sausage. Why are the tasty sausages in here? It's just I really, really don't know how to play efficiently as Melia. Especially this, this, ease, this early stage where she's got like no attacks. Oh, I don't know how to use her attacks. supposed to beat these guys. I can't do anything! <sighs> Fuck yeah, I'm reckless. God, what? Oh, God's sake. Hmm. 
Oh man, have I got a... I do not know how to use Melia efficiently. I never really ever used her. I certainly never used her... Hang on. Why am I running? Okay, I've got it now. I just have health restoring flying above me all the time. Okay, I've got the strategy down now. Pretend the last thing never happened, and we'll all be fine. <laughs> Sky top. Where have all my gems gone? Maybe they're just all the gems that's equipped to other characters, I suppose, so I can't take them off me. Okay. So I'm just going to have to be really cheap and just... Oh, unless this is the end. Ceremony Hall. I was going to say, just be really cheap and just summon the healing magic and just leave it healing me forever. <laughs> Certain genes that will 
unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. It is of no consequence. I grant you this seal. Is this? It is you who will rule the High Entia, and likely be there last. Revealed ancestor, I... Yes, go forth and rule. So the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness for the First Consort. I need no permission. I'm pretty sure you still do. Mother's subject? No impure child of the second consort has the right to refer to the first consort as mother. I... I... A filthy homed half-breed has no right to the throne. Hello, ancestors just said I do. <laughs> they clearly said that I do. They gave me permission. Oh, Ryan, you're going to get it in the neck. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. <laughs> Friend, not clever touching button. <sighs> I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. <laughs> you got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? You press the button, you this fool! This time it is your fault. <laughs> Precisely. Well... Apologize, oh. Ryan. Apologize. Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. I mean, we did we fall down deeper second. into the tomb. Melia needs us. Okay. I hope you can see me. Uh, his agility goes down a little bit, but that's only because he's got a gem on him, but he gains loads of defense. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool.
Uh, so what's Ricky got? Oh, it's his arms, isn't it? Sky gloves, boots. Yeah, well. They fell in the water, good for them. Don't stop, just keep going. <laughs> Whatever you do, backup characters, do not block me off. Convenient wall climbing with jigs. <coughs> oh, I sense impending bossness. That is a big ball of something. Great description, Ryan. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> it's not attacking us, at least. Not yet. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! Oh, goodness. Another defense mechanism. And I guess we're looking at the tomb's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. No problem. <laughs> it's alright, I've got a team now, so I might actually be okay. Unless it's really strong. I've got a level below me! Resisting my shield break. Break. Topple. You cannot escape. Okay. Days. Keep it up. My turn. Ow. That scorching hot. We're not finished. Oh, getting faster. Timing is 
Gotcha. Oh crap, I left the mouse on the screen. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> How long's that been there? Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. <laughs> somebody mean Ryan? Yes, we know. Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. <laughs> this route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. Yep. We've got to hurry. No time to lose. Skipping dialogue again. <sighs> Just getting rather impatient to get to the end. This path is nearly over. I've nearly reached my limit. I feel like Charlotte's catching up with me slowly. If she catches up with me, she might knock me off. I still like how Dunban climbs with just one arm. Okay, I'll take on one. Alright, run away. You wimp! Wimp! <laughs> I would never run away from a battle. <clears throat> a green earwig. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Okay. No oh, crumb. Oh, it's a slightly smaller one, I think. Isn't it? I think it does have an attack which can knock me back, so I've got to be careful not to be blown off. Another one. Right, let's do this. Make it a swift victory. Don't let a single one escape. Slit edge. I'm really feeling it. Don't get careless, though. Ah, Ezra, we'll catch you, thing. Days. I'm really feeling it. Don't get careless, though. How good are we? Charla, that's the spirit. I think we can do it. Okay, here we go. Stream in, Shala. I'm on it. My rifle's getting hot. Dunban, do your thing. Here I come. <sighs> Timing is everything. Remember that. We're counting on you. We did it. Thunder bullet. Fire! Let's focus our efforts. Don't Feel that. Yeah. Shoot. That was a beauty! Everyone! Let's go! Electric to everyone! Feel the flow of battle! We can uh, definitely do this! Good to go! Minato, let us power! Little more! Keep it up, everyone! Uh, Finish us! Take uh, this! Kill blast! Yeah. Clear! Kill bullets! Let's focus on records! I'm still! 
It's very cheeky to call in reinforcements. me off Dunban. You and your boss like climbing skills. Huh. Uh. Um, am I not going the right way? Button. <laughs> Who's got the button? Okay, now uh, that's it for this part, I think. I'm going to save it right here. And we will continue on the quest to save Melia from a dismal fate next time. So I'll just save that up. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.